I started to say that resurrection occurs when our mind is purified by thoughts of love. When we make that shift inside of us that we are willing to think loving thoughts where we have been thinking something less than loving thoughts. Um, I said to someone recently, I think in a class, I said something about, well, when you close your eyes, just focus on the light. And they said, well, what's the light? I don't understand. And I said, anything that is not the dark is the light, right? So anything not the dark is the light. And that's what, of course, what we are in pursuit of. So, you know, the miracle of Easter, it seems to me, is that in some way, fear that is within us gets dissolved. Um, it's, so what, what comes forward when fear is dissolved is this infinite, immortal, eternal love that is within each and every one of us, and that's the truth about us that we say is the presence, is the spirit of God. So the principle of resurrection is not just for Easter. I mean, this is a principle that applies to us, to our life, to our circumstances every day of the year, really for every situation. You know, Jesus, I think, teaches us that the effects of crucifixion are actually nullified, they're completely eradicated when we put enough love into a situation. Now, of course, I realize we don't always want to do that. You know, where we feel like we're having crucifixion in our life, you know, we want the resurrection. I just don't want to have any process in between. You know, I mean, I want crucifixion. Okay, this is crucifixion, and everybody knows what I'm talking about with crucifixion, right? You know, I mean, yes, Jesus was crucified on a cross, but it's different for us today in 2018.